What IDE is this? It's a code editor, baby. What about VS Code? VS Code's dead, baby. VS Code's dead. Why does everybody think that Z is the new VS Code killer? Many editors came and went. Just in the last 10 years, I've used Notepad++, Brackets, which was really nice, VS Code, and I unsuccessfully tried Vim. And for me, VS Code has been the killer. Well, Z is supposed to be really fast, because for those that didn't notice, apparently VS Code is really slow. Did you notice that? I didn't notice that. In fact, if you go to Zed's homepage, Zed.dev, right here, they have the latency times published 58 milliseconds for Zed. Sublime 75, VS Code 97 milliseconds. Well, apparently this is very important because people can actually perceive these responses down to two milliseconds. This kind of tactile feedback, more like visual connection that you have with your screen, can actually improve your performance. Now, at this point, I've already downloaded Zed and I've tried both VS Code and Zed and it doesn't really affect me, but I'm only human. So I tested it using a 960 frame per second recording, and here's what I found. Hasta la vista, baby. I measured 70 frames for VS Code, so that's about 72 milliseconds. And for Z, I measured 54 frames, which is about 56 milliseconds, and that's actually better than what they had on their site. So yes, Z is faster than VS Code at rendering keystrokes. Confession time. I'm not a very good typist, so perhaps somebody who's better at typing than me would notice this difference. There is, however, another test that I did that does show a huge difference. Opening a folder or opening a file. One, two, three, go. Okay, not bad. Zed? Oh my god. Are you serious? Let's try just the file here. <sighs> I don't think we need slow motion for that one. This metric is not shown on their homepage though because, well, you type a lot more than you open files or folders. What makes Zed so fast is this new UI framework that they've created that lives on top of the GPU and talks directly to the GPU, sort of like a video game rendering. This framework is called GPUI and it was created by the Zed team themselves. You can find it under the Zed repository too, which by the way is now open sourced. I'll get back to why that really matters in its fight against VS Code in a moment. When I monitor GPU, GPU usage in Z, we're getting, what is that, like 40% usage? And I navigate code, scroll really fast all over the place. I'm not seeing any delays. This is very fast. When I do the same thing with VS Code, it's about the same because VS Code also uses the GPU. Definitely not in the same way as Zed, but I'm still not noticing any kind of delay here. I am on an M2 Max MacBook Pro here. I don't expect this to hit any kind of limit, but Zed has gotten up to, what is that, 40% usage maybe? Maybe there's a little spike near nearing 50%. VS Code is a little bit less usage. More usage, of course, is better. That means it's showing that it's actually utilizing the GPU. However, if I do run these programs on a slower machine, like an M1 MacBook Air, for example, what's gonna happen there? Not sure. I just wanna get some baseline readings on this machine which is showing me that there is a little bit of a difference. Now you can also start VS Code in this mode right here where you disable the GPU on startup. So let's quit that, disable the GPU, and let's have a look at that when I do a lot of scrolling. I'm still not seeing any slowdowns, and this is telling me that the CPU is handling the rendering here and is doing it just a fine job. Now, what I like about VS Code is the zooming in ability and the separation of windows. Let me show you. So when I zoom in, I can do Command plus, Command minus to zoom out, and the entire UI responds to my zoom. I like that because it gives me uh, more power to do presentations when I do screencasts and videos recordings and things like that. With Zed, the code zooms in and out the same way, but the rest of the interface does not. So if I'm zooming in and out just to show my code, that's fine. But how do I zoom everything else, the menus, the rest of the UI? I might need to dig through menus and see how it's done. Maybe it's possible, but it's not immediately obvious. Still, not a huge deal. 
Now, what about separating tabs to a new window? You can't do that with Zed. Trying to drag a tab out and you just can't do it. What I do like about VS Code is that you can take a tab and drag it out to a new window. And this window has its own controls, so I can zoom that window independently. These are all features that can be added to Zed. But VS Code has them right now out of the box without any extensions. These are the kinds of things that I personally use. You might not even care about this kind of thing. But what a lot of people do care about is Copilot and VS Code and Zed both have Copilot support. With VS Code, you also have extensions for other AI assistants other than Copilot, like Cody. I recently did a video on that. Tab9 is another popular one. With Zed, you do have the ability to use AI through providing your own OpenAI API key. Right now, they only support OpenAI, and you're gonna have to pay per usage over there. I just found the extensions menu item here in Zed. They do have extensions, but it looks like that area needs to be developed quite a bit. Right now, there isn't much going on here. Extensions are in the form of themes and language highlighting support from what I understand here. Not true extensions in the sense of the word that we get with VS Code, where they can actually augment functionality of the tool. Let's try to change the theme here. Let's go with uh, this one. Nice. Now, one other thing I really enjoy in VS Code is formatting. And I do that by highlighting a selection, Command K, Command F, and it formats the document or the selection, I should say. Let's see if this happens in Z. Command K, Command F, what happened there? Not quite sure if it formatted, but it, uh, it went down to the bottom of the file. To really see it, I'm gonna have to change the bottom of the file. Oh, it formats on save. That's, that's good. Yeah, it formats on save, I like that. You can do the same thing with uh, VS Code. So you probably have some preferences here, like format on save, off. There we go. Now, one of the things about Zed is it's focused on stability. This is something that uh, VS Code has a history of, mm, let's just say I'm really used to reloading the window. It's one of my favorite things I do in VS Code. Developer reload window, boom. And that should tell you something about the stability of an electron-based project. It's not always the most stable thing. Here, they're saying that they're focused on doing something called fuzz tested for stability, whatever that means. It's supposed to eliminate the kinds of issues you might run into, like I do with VS Code sometimes where things don't sync up or they freeze and I need to reload the window. That said, Zed does have a workspace restart function, just in case. Let's check out the collaboration feature. Here on this machine, I'm logged in as one GitHub account into Zed, and here I'm logged in as another GitHub account. On this one, I wanna share this project with this person. I'm gonna add a contact, and I'm going to type in their name. This will only pop up if this person is logged into Zed. I selected this person, and now here I get an invitation. There we go, it's under requests, and I accept my invite. Boom, Ziskin accepted your contact invite. Now what? In case you're not aware, this is not a tutorial. This is me trying it out for the first time. On this machine, I'm gonna just start typing and see if this does anything. The only way to share my project is to actually call the other person. Maybe that's not the only way, but that's how I'm finding it out. Oh, Zed just crashed over here. Okay, accept the call. Zed. Zed. All right, I finally got it to where it's not crashing. I think uh, I'm gonna give this another shot. I've got the same file open on both sides and I'm gonna start typing. It's working. There is a significant delay, but it's working. It doesn't show me who's editing the file here though. So that would be kind of nice if it did. Maybe if there's more than one other person working on this, it would. Let's go the other way, and that's working too. Now this is actually giving another person complete access to your project. So if they mess something up, oh, Zed crashed again. So if they mess something up, they will mess up your local copy. So be careful. Now VS Code doesn't have a built-in function to share the project. They do have something called Live Share. It's an extension by Microsoft that you can enable, and then I can live share my project. It just gives you a link you can join. I'm gonna go over here, paste in that link. This pops open VS Code. Now it did open up VS Code in the browser. It works in the browser because, well, it's web technology. So I can keep working here in the browser, or let's see if I can open up VS Code. Let's pop open that same file that I was working on and here we are and this works much much better now of course it's a little bit more mature anything I type here is instantly shown over there on that side and not only that it also shows me who is making the change so if I continue typing over here the changes are coming through instantly on the other side so collaboration is definitely something that's a little bit uh, better implemented I think at this point in time in VS Code using the live share 
The Z team is really experienced as they are the folks behind Atom and Electron on top of which VS Code is built. But they are also a small new startup going up against one of the biggest companies on the face of the earth, Microsoft. It doesn't mean that they can't do it better, but even if we give Zed the benefit of the doubt and say that it's better than VS Code at its core, they have many years of hard work ahead of them to catch up in developing this product. Adding support for multiple platforms, because it's right now it's Mac OS only, so they need Windows, they need Linux, and opening up Zed for extensions and plugins. But now that it's open source, they might speed things up a little bit, which is probably why they did it. Now, speaking of supporting Linux and Windows, they're gonna have to completely rewrite their UI layers, because right now, Zed uses GPUI, and that's a special UI library that they created that's Mac OS only. And it's so new that they're constantly discovering new bugs and fixing them. Here's a blog post on their site. By the way, they're being really transparent about everything. They have a YouTube channel, they're documenting everything, and now they're open source, so really cool. And here in this blog post called 120 FPS, they documented some of the issues they've recently uncovered. And this is in their GPUI framework or library, whatever it's called. It's a framework. So they have to deal with multiple layers here of the onion to get this thing working. Whereas Electron is now a mature product and constantly getting better too. So VS Code ain't leaving and it's not dead yet. It's only getting better. A good David and Goliath story has to have a bad guy. And while VS Code might be a little bit slower, as my tests have shown, it needs to be bad so we can all get behind the little guy who's good and VS Code is just not bad. It's the opposite. I'm gonna keep using VS Code as my main tool because of all the extensions that I depend on, but I'm going to keep Z installed because if I need to quickly edit a file, I do find it frustrating when I need to open a file through the command line and VS Code takes a couple of seconds to get it going. Z is really excellent for that right now. And who knows, maybe give it a couple years, it's gonna catch up. Maybe it'll overtake VS Code, who knows? Have you tried Z yet? What do you think about it? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'd appreciate a like if you did enjoy this video and consider subscribing to the channel. It's free. I also wanna say thank you to the members of the channel. Membership is something I started a year ago, but I recently started posting members only videos. You don't have to join, but if you want to, there is a join button right down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.